Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting, joining you from the UK. Nice sunny day here in the UK today, but not terribly warm. Um, hope you're having a lovely day. I am an independent stamping up demonstrator from the UK, as I said. And today I'm bringing you this really cute card. Um, I love this sentiment. This is from the set called Happiest of Birthdays. Or Happiest Birthday, is it just? Oh, Happiest of Birthdays. It's really lovely and really deserves to be the centre spot of the card really the star of the card um, and um, love this card um, I made it a while ago actually but I haven't I only got around to showing it to you the other day and today I'm going to show you how I made it really pretty I love this colour scheme but I'm going to change it up today we're not going with that colour scheme today so we're going to have a bit of a change which just reminds me I haven't got my stamp pads out yet so I'll be reaching across when we get to that bit first of all let's make our blank so I've got a piece of our thick whisper white and I've got my trimmer and I'm going to cut this to 14 and a half so as I've said before there isn't quite there isn't an exact mill there is an exact measurement for half of a4 obviously but it's a very complicated so I tend to use 14 and a half as my standard which means I can get two cards out of an a4 and a tiny strip of card as well so that one's going to one side this is the one we're going to use and then we need to bring that back in and we need to score it at 10 and a half so my card blank will end up being 14 and a half by 10 and a half and I'm then going to score that I don't measure that right that doesn't look quite big enough oh yeah it is 14 and a half it's looked a bit small um, I'm going to bring in a piece of designer series paper this is, this is from our Bright's stack of 6x6 DSP so they're family packs and you get four different designs and they're double sided so this one's got that design on that side and that one and there's another sheet with two different designs um, and they're great because you get every colour so um, really good for coordinating I use them an awful lot if I only had to if I could choose one set of um, papers to have from the annual catalogue it would be this set because I use it a lot right so I've done that 10 and I'm going to do it by 14. So it's half a centimetre smaller than my card blank. Oh dear, I just realised I haven't got my Tombow out yet either. I'm not very organised today, am I? Right, let's find some Tombow. Luckily, everything is just at my fingertips in my room, so I don't have to go far. It's a very lazy way of crafting. I don't have to stand up even. Right, let's just get this sorted right. This is my little jar that I have my Tombow sitting in. Um, that um, will mean that the tip stays moist so it won't dry out and that the glue will always be near the tip when I need to use it. Just put that away. I was using that pot for something else for the minute. Right, okay, let's bring my bone folder in and get this nice crisp, 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 crisp um, fold. There we go. And then this, I'm hoping, will fit exactly onto our card base, leaving a small border. There we go. Yeah, I might just bring my little trimmer and just trim a smidgen more off there. Just a tiny bit. I just want a slightly bigger board around there. So let's see if that works better. Yeah, that's better. I like that better, much better. Yeah, can you see? So I'm just going to bring some Tombow in. So very little Tombow needed. So try and get it as close to the edge as you can, but not right up to the edge because it will splurge out. Sometimes I spread this out with um, a cocktail stick or a, um, a spreader. But I'm just going to go for it today. Hope it doesn't splurge out. There we go. Try and get that border equal all the way around because that will really affect the look of your card at the end it will look much more professional if your border is exactly the same all the way around and as it's tombow you can give it a bit of a wiggle so if it's not quite right you can just push it and and center it right there we go that is our card blank we'll put that to one side for the minute and now we need to bring in some whisper white we're going to stamp our big greeting but i don't want to stamp it on this big bit of card so i'm going to cut it down to I'm going to cut it down to 10 and a half by no I'm not 14 and a half this way nearly did it wrong 14 and a half that way and this will mean it will be the same size as a card blank that I make so I'll be able to use it on other cards as well so that's all out of the way and this one 
is what we're going to stamp on. So this is going to be too big for what we need, but I'm just going to leave it like that for the moment. So bring in my um, embossed buddy. These are available. Now, how much were they? I think $3.95 Woodware make one that's available on Amazon. We don't make them anymore. We don't sell them. But it's a really good idea if you're embossing and don't want to get stray spots. So pop onto Amazon or your local um, your local um, craft shop. Just wondering if I'd put this on here straight. Does that look fairly straight? Maybe. Let's give it a go. So I'm going to put that in the middle of my piece of card. You could start off with the piece of card that the size you want, but then you've got to position it really carefully. And this way you can just trim away the excess. Right, okay, so then I need my silver embossing powder. Pull that everywhere. Exactly what I was trying not to do. There we go. And even though I'd used my embossing buddy, you can see there's still a little cut mark there. I'll just come in with a paintbrush get rid of those little marks so I don't want those right okay and I'm just gonna have to swoosh my grid paper because I've got the embossing powder all over it dearie me it's exactly what I was hoping not to do and exactly why I've got these big containers so that I don't get in a mess with the embossing powder I hate that gritty feeling of embossing powder on my desk right okay so I bring in my heat gun just gonna turn it on to heat up first of all and then we're going to heat this and it's going to do its magic of melting and going all lovely and shiny silver. You can see it's quite dull grey at the moment. But as soon as we put some heat on it, just give it a chance to warm up, it will start changing. It's, it's almost like magic. There we go, it's just going at the corner there. So as you see it going, you can just move the heat gun around. Don't leave it on one spot for too long, especially not on your fingers because they'll burn. My fingers are getting burnt turn it around um, because the, the powder will actually melt into the cardstock if you leave it too long whereas if you do it like that it's got a lovely I won't touch it because it might still be a bit warm but it's got a lovely raised image I'm hoping that in part of that I'm catching in the camera so you can see that it's really beautiful right so um, right okay let's cut that down first of all okay so I'm going to come in my little trimmer okay and this needs to be eight and a half by ten and a half so we want this panel to be eight and a half and of course we want the, the sentiment to be centered so I'm going to do it a bit at a time so that I get it centered so I'm just gonna so eight and a half is there but obviously I don't want to chop all of that so I'll try, try doing there and then come around this way and chop a bit off there and the message is still reasonably centered maybe a little bit more off this side so not quite that much and mm, that's fairly centered isn't it so we need a tiny bit because we need to get it down to eight and a half and there's only about two centimeters left to chop it so a little bit off there and then we're going to do the same with the other like so in the bin right and then we're going to come and this bit needs to be ten and a half so we need a bit of space at the top here so turn that round that will obviously be too close so I'm going to do that there and then I'm just going to do another little bit off here and another bit off here measurements right oh it's going to be slightly smaller than that one um so yeah let's do a little bit more there and i'm just using the guide along the trimmer here to just help guide me it doesn't have to be precise especially not that way because it won't matter if there's a bigger gap one way or the other um there we go that's our panel done and then we're going to stamp so I've used Melon Mambo DSP. So obviously one of my flowers is going to be in Melon Mambo. And I'm just wondering what other colours to use. Melon Mambo. Now I could go yellows. I could go Melon Mambo and yellows. 
Could go Melon Mamba. I might go yellow, Melon Mamba and Blues, actually. That might look quite nice. Yeah, maybe we'll do Blues. I might do... Um, what have I got here? Um, Pacific Point and Sea Spray. I've already got these out on my desk, so we'll do those. We'll do pink and blue um, for a change. Right, we first of all need to put, do a panel um, for this to sit on. So I need a panel. I'll do it Seaside Spray, if I've got it. Really not very organised today. I usually have all these things out ready, but um, I just ju jumped straight on today because I wanted to get this um, video done. Right, there's a little bit of seaside spray. Oh, I don't know about that though. Is that going to dull that specific? Might dull it down a little bit. What do you think? Oh, let's give it a go. Right, okay, so this needs to be 9 by 11. So this way needs to be a little. Oh, it's going off here. I know it's only just off, but it's off, so I'll use my big trimmer. I use the little trimmer a lot, but sometimes you just need a slightly bigger measurement. There we go. For those of you who've been so kind um, during COVID to ask me about my mum, who is in a care home, some of you who've been following me for a while will know that um, my dad died just before Christmas and mum has dementia and he was her main carer so she had to go in a home so it was all a bit fraught because we had dad dying and the funeral and mum going into a home and oh it was all a bit dreadful um, and anyway then then there was um, Covid of course and the lockdown oh that's okay yeah that's fine um and as a result I haven't seen mum mum, mum is about 200 miles away from me um, and the home initially weren't allowing any visits then they were allowing 10 minute visits and now they've increased to half an hour visit so I am actually going on Tuesday so it's like an eight hour round trip to spend half an hour with my mum but I understand why they're doing it you can't complain really and I have to give credit to the home they um haven't um, had any cases of COVID, so they've stayed, kept them really nice and safe. So I don't don't feel like criticising them, but it's an awful long way to go for a, um, to a half an hour visit. But I'm so looking forward to seeing her. She won't be looking forward to seeing me. She's perfectly happy when she's not reminded of her past life, which is what I tend to do, is remind her that she had a past life living at home with my dad and in her own house and so when she sees me that tends to remind her but hey ho um i need to see her so and i always know that if she was in her right mind if she didn't have dementia she'd be delighted to see me so i just hold on to that there we go um so i'm just stamping this this is um i'm stamping this with melon mambo and this is a stamp from field of flowers one of the flower stamps from Field of Flowers. If you hang on a sec, I'll show you. So it's this little stamp here from Field of Flowers, which is quite sweet. And then the other stamps I'm using are two little stamps from Blossoms in Blue. And those are the ones I'm going to do in the blues. So let's take Seaside Spray first. I keep trying to find a colour scheme I like as much as the purple and the coastal cabana, but... I always come back to that because whatever I try, I don't like quite as much. So a lot of my projects are in that colour scheme. Like I say, I do tr keep trying to get away from it. So I'm just scattering these around wherever. Um, let's leave it like that and we might come back and do a few more in a minute. And then I'm just going to do some in Pacific Point. So that, that'll be, so the, the seaside spray is a bit lighter. Um, and this is a nice strong colour. Um, so hopefully we'll even it up a bit. Oh, that look, oh, it looks a bit like um, red, white and blue now, doesn't it? It looks a bit like a Union Jack or an American flag. Just got my fingers in that. Don't want that to go on the card. Oh, where else do we need one? Maybe here? Any more for any more? We haven't got any dark ones over here. So let's do one there. Right, that's enough. It's very, very often I overdo it, so I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, and then all we need to do 
is mount this on there. Oh, it's quite nice actually. And that remember will dye, dry a nicer colour. It's a bit red at the minute, but it will dry. Actually, that's not a bad colour scheme, is it? Actually, after saying that I didn't like it, actually I do quite like that. I think the, the Pacific Point really helped to bring out those colours. Um, so there we go. A little bit of Tombow to mount it on the panel. So many ideas for using this um, big sentiment. I love it. I need to make sure I do them all before it flipping well retires because things do have a habit of retiring before I've used them as much as I want to. Right, I'm going to show you a little trick here. Can you see that I've got two little specks of pink um, ink there? This is a mono, it's a Tombow, it's made by Tombow. It's called a mono eraser it's a sand and rubber eraser and if you use the sand end where you've got a splodge of ink you have to do it quite a lot it doesn't come off all very quickly but if you rub enough it will remove those splodges of ink my life was changed when I realized that these again they have, sorry I seem to be promote, promoting Amazon today um, they are available there we go those ink spots have gone like magic so if you haven't got one of those get onto amazon and get one because it will save your life when you get and if you're like me and however careful i am i get ink splodges so and then that's just going to mount on there that's actually quite a nice color scheme i'm quite pleased with that should experiment more shouldn't i and i will find color schemes i like I'm just, I love turquoise, I've always loved turquoise and the combination with purples, the lilacs and purples just makes me really happy. There we go and that's going to go on there with a little border all the way around. And that bit of the card is done but of course I'm going to do a little bit of decoration inside. So I'm going to take a little bit of the designer series paper which is falling on the floor. This is a bit I had left over. Oh, that bit's not quite long enough, so I'll use this bit. And I'm going to do a strip down the bottom. I can show you what I did in here, inside here. So I did a strip of designer paper and then a bit of stamping. So I'm just going to trim that off, find my snips. Just going to trim that off. Yeah, so another very quick and easy card design, this one could do quite a few of these in different colour schemes and have them ready in your stash, ready to send out to birthdays. I really need to practice what I preach and get some cards so that I've got a whole load ready to send out. Um, but all of my friends and relations who I send cards to follow, me, follow my Instagram account, which I post all my cards on. So I'd have to be really good about not posting the card until I'd sent it to all of them which would kill me because if I've done a card that I like, I can't wait to share it with people. Right, there we go. And then we're just gonna come in with our three stamp pads again. So what did I do? I did one big stamp. Like that. And then the two little ones. Point. and that just makes it much more of a uh, I don't know just makes it much more personal I think if you've stamped a little bit inside there we go and a couple of them of uh, seaside spray ones as well there and that's it that's my card made do um, press the subscribe button if you'd like to see. I never do very complicated sub, um, projects. So if you're like me and into clean and simple and quick and easy, um, then I, you might find you'd like some of my other projects. Um, I make mostly cards, um, but I do do 3D, 3D things from now and then. Um, but only if they're quick and easy. Um, don't ever do anything complicated. Right, those are my two cards. What do you think? I think that one's quite nice, actually quite pleased with that so it just goes to show the stamping up colors are quite easy to put together to get a nice a nice combination um, and all these stamp sets go together quite nicely as well I know I'm lucky to have a lot of stamp sets to choose from um, but 
hey ho right there we go if you'd like to buy anything they're all below in my shop if you'd like to get a bargain you could go over to my buy one get one free sale which is on my blog so the link to my blog will be below go over to my blog and the, the heading at the top will have um my buy one get one free sale and all of my retired project uh, not projects products in there you buy one and you can choose any other one for free obviously the lowest value one is is cheapest the cheapest one the lowest value item is the one that's free i was trying to say anyway that's it from me today hope you have a lovely day um, i'm hoping this is going out on sunday so have a great sunday and i will see you again soon bye for now